Welcome back to another episode of This Week in New Tech. This week, New Tech put on a trash and show, and I got a chance to be a model in it. It was great. <laughs> and uh, I had the opportunity to interview some of the winners from the Heart of Texas History Fair. Let's go see what's up. I'm joined here today with Mrs. Tabor, our science teacher here at Belton New Tech. Mrs. Tabor, can you please explain to us what your project was about? So we were doing a project called Thinking Outside the Trash Can, and the goal of the project is for kids to be able to uh, come up with ways to reduce, reuse, recycle material without actually having to throw it into the trash can, and that was pretty much it. <laughs> and what do you hope your students took from this? So I'm kind of hoping that they can kind of think globally as far as what reducing, reusing, and recycling can have as far as long-term effects and how to kind of prevent that or change that. So we came up with a trash and show to show our version of creative ways to change the way we decrease our ecological footprint. <laughs> awesome. So if you were to do this project next year, what would you change? Well, immediately, if we did the trash and show, I think that I would probably have more of a trash and week and kind of mimic more of fashion week and kind of really focus on what the kids are doing in terms of preparation for it, kind of the thought process that went into it. I think that it needs to really focus more on being more reusable and not just a one-time reuse, but how can we really sustain reusing materials? I think that if we actually did the trash and show, we would also uh, slow down a little bit. I think it went really fast and our models were very well prepared with their materials. They put a lot of effort into it and the trash and show went like that. So it was all over in a matter of, you know, a minute. So <laughs> that's first on my list to change things. Well, I think that's a fashionable idea. <laughs> Thank you so much, Mrs. Tabor. I'm joined here today with Seth and Kaylee. So Kaylee, what was the inspiration behind this outfit? Um, well, we kind of lack in creativity, so we just kind of searched through Pinterest, found something that we liked and that was really extra, and then we just kind of went with it, went with the flow. Awesome. So, Seth, how did y'all create it? So, the basis of the project is basically conserving um, things that like end up that are polluting the water. So, what we did was plastic, and there's tons of plastic, uh, millions of tons of plastic that end up in the ocean waters and hurt our environment. So, what we did basically with the design is we used plastic things as plastic straws, bags, and we also did like a purse. Uh, that was for the dress. So, um, we really designed with plastics and yeah. <laughs> cool beans. And how do you think this is going to help the earth in the long run? Well, um, all together, our outfit took over 3,000 years to decompose completely. And so just using this, all the plastic that we used in our outfit kind of like encourages people like, hey, look at all this plastic that we throw away at home. We should probably start recycling that. And yeah. Awesome. Thank you so much. I'm here with senior Haley Caps. So Haley, I understand that you're a designer today. I am. What did you design? I designed this bag. It's called Major Baggage, and I designed it with my partner, Dylan Allen. He's also a senior here. So what was the inspiration behind this bag? Well, there's a lot of waste of plastic bag products, and so we decided that to, to cut down that waste, we would make a bag out of a lot of bags, hence the name Major Baggage. And how do you think this helps the, the earth in total, like uh, in all? It just helps reduce municipal waste in general, and there's a lot of that, so we're trying to get rid of it. Awesome. Thank you so much, Haley. Yeah. I'm joined here today with senior Katrina Taylor, who is one of the designers in the Trash and Show. So, Katrina, what was your inspiration behind your design? Well, really, we just kind of Googled a lot of things, and we kind of wanted to make something simple to, with unconventional materials. So we thought that a skirt would be easy, and, you know, just making something kind of big and, you know, obnoxious would be fun as well. So that was really it. And why did you choose to choose the material that you chose? We picked to use uh, mainly po paper for ours because we learned in our research that 41% of municipal waste is paper. So we thought that that could be, you know, the driving force behind our project was paper waste. Okay, and in the long run, how do you think this will help the environment? Well, I definitely think the idea of using trash for, like, fashion would be, you know, good because it's recycling materials and bringing up these issues is obviously good by making the 
by making people aware of issues, it can help anyways, so. Awesome, I very much agree, thank you. I'm here with Delaney McClanahan, she's a sophomore here at Belton New Tech, and she was one of the winners of the History Fair. So Delaney, what was your exhibit trying to represent? So we chose the Black Panther movement, and there were some other groups that had the same one, but we tried to choose a more, like a different side of them, because they are seen in a negative light, even though they were protesting something that is still being protested today. Mm -hmm. They also had breakfast programs, all these programs to help their communities, and so that's really what we were trying to get across in our presentation. So what exactly, can you give us a little bit of a rundown on what the Black Panthers were? So they were known for their violent protesting for the civil rights movement. So they would have armed watches where they would make sure the police did not do, did not act in police brutality against them by carrying guns around and actually making sure they didn't do anything. They also um, exercised their right to bear arms by marching with their guns up to like the Capitol building and stuff. Cool, thank you very much. I'm here with Sarah Bass and she's also a sophomore in the group that won the second place. So Sarah, what was it like competing against other groups for the best history project? I would say it was interesting to compete because you get to see them present right next to you and then you go up and present and so uh, it's pretty intense to know they're listening to you and trying to evaluate whether they're better or worse than you. Uh, but overall it was a lot of fun because we've been waiting for so long to get to go up there mm -hmm. and show what we'd made and so uh, I'm just glad we get to do it some more going to state. So y'all won second place. What was that like? How'd you feel afterwards? Uh, I was extremely happy. I <laughs> look kind of crazy in some of the photos. I'm, I was just so emotional, cause, which sounds weird, but because uh, I really wasn't expecting to move on. Mm -hmm. uh, all the rest of my team was like, of course we got this, Sarah, but I didn't believe it. So it was, it was crazy. Well, good. I'm glad y'all did so well. Thank you very much. Thank you. I'm here with Ruth Lawson, another member of the Thomas, Thomas Paine group. So Ruth, what was it like competing against other groups for the best documentary? Um, it was really cool. It was a great experience. Um, we were able to watch what other people did and mm -hmm. see kind of our competition. Um, we were able to talk to the judges and afterwards we got feedback and so that was really awesome. Um, there were several groups in our division so it was really mm -hmm. cool that we got third. Yeah, that's really good. I'm surprised. Um, so what would you say you took from this project? Um, I did learn a lot about Thomas Paine that I had no idea any of it. Um, I loved working with my group members. We had an awesome team. Uh, it was a really great experience. I can't wait. Hopefully I can do it next year. Yeah. Good. What would you say to anyone actually doing it next year or new into the history fair thing? Um, don't wait till last minute <laughs> because <laughs> that gets hectic. Um, just uh, make sure you have a great team that you mm -hmm. like working with because if you don't then it's not very fun, but just have a lot of fun with it because it's really, it's a great experience. Cool. Thank you very much. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching yet another groovy episode at This Week at New Tech. Make sure to like and subscribe and check out our website at mindingtech.org. And we will see you guys in our next video. Bye. Later.